Welcome to another meeting. <laughs> Woo, could you all please um, give me your attention for a minute? Thank you. We're going to start a little bit early because there's a lot of people for us to introduce. Okay? I'll we'll have your attention. Okay, um, I'd like you to meet this gentleman right here, Theo Navro. Theo's got a very interesting business that he just uh, started in Sherman Oaks. Shh, shh, shh. So I'm going to turn this mic over to Theo for him to tell you a little bit about what he does. Hello, hello everyone. I hope, uh, hope you're all doing well. Um, just want to thank Jens for inviting me over here today. Um, we're a company called Nerdforce. Uh, what we do is... Um, sorry, uh, Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Right, uh, I'm uh, Theo Mamro, and uh, we're a company called Nerdforce. Um, what we basically do is, uh, anyone that has a computer, you, you know, you always run into any any little trouble, any little difficulties, and uh, what we do is we uh, provide you a service at your house uh, to help you out either with training, uh, fixing the computer if you somehow end up getting a virus, we can help you remove that, uh, setting up applications. Um, basically what we can do is uh, any, anything to do with your computers, repairs, networking, uh, we do that at your house, we come to your house or we come to your business. Um, we, have a, uh, we have a nationwide as well as an um, international base, so we're not a very small company. Uh, I, it's a franchise, I basically just started in January and um, we do any kind, of, any kind of service to do with your computer. If you have grandchildren, say for instance on the East Coast or even just down in San Diego and um, I don't know if you've, anyone has heard of this uh, service called Skype. It is a uh, service that you can basically see via webcam your grandchildren in, uh, in San Diego or in, on the East Coast or wherever they might be and we can come and help you set that up and um, install that for you. So any, anything like that or any questions that you might have, um, yeah, please give me a call uh, or see me, I'll be over here. Thank you. Thank you, Theo. And you know what? One of his best customers is Casa Vega, right here. He can, he can give you a real good comments about it. Thank you. If you want his flyer, he's walking around and he'll be happy to give you his flyer. Okay. Uh, John, where are you? John Popich. Okay. I'd like to introduce John Popich to you. You probably have met him. He is the uh, regional field rep for Assemblyman Bob Blumenfield. So here he is. Thanks, Jules. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, everybody, for having me. Uh, as Jules said, my name is John Poposh. I'm a field representative for Assembly Member Bob Blumenfield. He represents the 40th Assembly District, which runs uh, roughly just east of the 405 here at Hazel Team, all the way west to West Hills, north to the 118. Uh, the reason I came today was to give all of you an update on the mobile billboard bill. You know, those unhitched trailers that everyone loves so much right. in the neighborhood? Uh, I would, exactly. Well, I wanted to, you to know that Assemblymember Blumenfield introduced a bill in this state assembly to ban those mobile billboard trailers, those unhitched trailers, as I saw one right outside the high school here. Thank you. It, it passed the Government Organization Committee. I want to update you on it. It passed the Government Organization Committee in the state assembly. And then it passed the uh, Business and Professions Committee. And now, and then it went to the assembly floor, and it passed by a vote of 47 to 19 on the full assembly floor. Now we'll go to the Senate, to the, to the Senate, and to a transportation committee of the Senate, and hopefully from there, with amendments, it'll be passed on and signed by the governor and go into law at January 1st as of next year. We are doing some things to. Uh, satisfy some amendments from local jurisdictions to augment the bill just to satisfy the cities because what we're doing is leaving it up to the individual cities and counties that you know way up north per se, just to say so if they want to still have mobile billboards that's up to them but by law if the city which has passed the motion the city of los angeles 
I want to thank Councilman, Council Member Paul Koretz for his work on that, and Joan and his whole staff. Council Member Koretz has gone along with the motion to ban these mobile billboards, and the city supports the bill, the state bill. And uh, it's a cost-effective measure, otherwise you'd have to have a sign entering and exiting the city of Los Angeles saying that you could, could or couldn't have these mobile billboards. It would cost way too much. So the good news is that it's passed the assembly, and Assemblymember Blumenfield thanks all of you. He's in Sacramento right now. And I appreciate all of you for your support, and Councilmember Peretz, and Jules, and Richard, and all of you in the Homeowners Association. I hope uh, if you have any information you think Jules is going to get a hold of me, and look forward to seeing you again soon. Yes. The, good, good question. People, you know, look for ways to kind of, uh, she asked how did it ever come to be that they had these mobile billboards. Well, people were looking for ways to advertise. And uh, there's a lot of issues with it. The businesses that they park in front of hurts their business, the residents. And it's a safety issue, too. The highway patrol has said he's blown over. It's a uh, blight. So there's a big problem with all of it. And it's no question on the business side because the businesses they're blocking are upset with it. So we'll get them out of here. Like I just said, I see a few of them out of here, uh, over here. And we're, it's been one of the big things, and Assemblymember Blumenfield responded to the constituency and wanted to make sure we passed the bill. So the good news is it's one of his bills that's already moved right through the floor, right to the Assembly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, first of all, if you have any questions for Councilman Paul Corrects, ask your question forms, fill them out, Give it to Matt Epstein. Are you finally here, Matt? Matt's here. Wow, I can't believe it. Um, anyway, and he'll be picking it up, or just bring the forms up to the table here. Thank you very much. Joan. I'm going to yield to my boss. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we'll be back to you in a few minutes. Thank you. Decaf, decaf. Long story behind this. From, from World War II. 